Good day, everyone. This is Just to G, and man, it's been a minute since I've done a video. I've just been like serious, seriously, seriously concentrated on writing my stories and getting them finished. So, quick update: um, I am down to two stories now. I finished discovering Juliana back in September. And I finished Fish back in, I don't know, in spring. And I am working on Keeping Up with the Joneses, which is almost done. I have two more rotations. Whoop. Well, one and a half. I'm in the middle of one and I have one more and then it'll be over. And then all I will have to concentrate on is Delicious Dishes and Dreams with the Pruitts. Ah, I cannot wait to have just one story, but... <clears throat> Uh, someone who, you know who you are, <laughs> keeps bugging me about, uh, recording my Drifter, uh, gameplay. So, um, many of you probably don't realize that sometimes, you know, when I'm not writing and like need a break from writing, I, I play for fun and I do that via the Drifter challenge, which is amazing. And I highly recommend that challenge. Um, anyway, so I am on house six now. I have just begun house six. And uh, someone who shall not be named keeps bugging me about um, doing a video because, you know, I'm a storyteller. I have like snarky commentary to go along with my gameplay, even though I'm not actually telling a story. <laughs> but I end up telling a story anyway. Um, <clears throat> I've been sharing those stories on Facebook in this group that I'm in, but seeing as how I am just now beginning house six, I figured this would be a good opportunity to uh, start a little video series. Now, you know, I'm going to put this out there. I am not going to promise that I will be consistent about this. I don't do anything consistently. I don't write consistently. I write a lot. But I don't write consistently. I don't play consistently. Um, I don't plan to do a video every time I play this save, but I think I will attempt to uh, do these often. So <clears throat> let me introduce you to everybody. So um, house six, you have the uh, heir or heiress and then one other playable sim. They start out with one hundred thousand dollars and they're supposed to build a house, a mansion that is worth 350,000 simoleons and have at least eight bedrooms. Oh, my goodness. So this is Dreama, Dreama Walker. She is our house six heiress. Isn't she beautiful? She's hot. It's, it's hot. So she's in her summer outfit right now. Uh, she just moved here from Oasis Springs, so she's enjoying the weather, but she's about to be here for a rude awakening when the spring, when the winter comes. <laughs> At least she has shelter now, though. So she took the money and she just went ahead and built the house. Um, as you can see, this joint is massive. They can't afford windows yet, but they have doors. <laughs> Um, I am not much of a builder. I am making this from a house plan I saw. And um, let me go to the back of the house. I wanted a daylight basement, seeing as how we can have. Um, so we have the terrain tools now. So in the front, you have two levels and in the back, you have three. But, you know, it's so sloppy. I mean, look at that. The terrain tools are cool, but, you know, there's only so much we can do with them. If anybody has any tips on making a nice looking daylight basement, please let me know because I will gladly take them. Anyway, I will show you guys the house maybe later because um, I don't want to take up all your time with all this introduction while you're just staring at these beautiful Sims. This guy, some of y'all may have seen him before. His name is Rico Warner. Um... I made him at random one time just because, and then I put this hair on him. You know, that's the hair we got with the holiday pack, but I hated the color, so I recolored it and I shared the recolor. And Rico has been circulating around Tumblr like crazy. It's been downloaded like almost 2,000 times in a few months. So 
Uh, if you think he looks familiar, he is. So, all right. Um, I have just got these two jobs because they're going to need it. I mean, the bills are going to be like, what, like $5,000 at least. And they only have almost 2000 They need to start working immediately. So he's a brand new sim, so he has zero skills, but he likes money. Um, he has the materialistic aspiration and he's goofball and he's outgoing and he has the mansion baron aspiration which is my main reason for picking him because <clears throat> i didn't feel like making anybody else so i just picked the best sim out of my pool of gorgeous sims so he is going to be working in the office and ms walker is going to join the secret agent career because she wants to make as much money as possible to get this house made quickly and keep up with her bills. She has a lot of traits because she was born in the game. So um, she, the, her trait traits are creative, active, and self-assured. And as you can see, she got all these toddler things and you know, her, um, what do you call these things? These positive traits. So she's responsible, she has good manners and she's compassionate. And then I bought her all this other stuff. I was anticipating her sleeping on the lawn as well. But when I read the rules again, I know that's when I noticed that she could start with money. And I was like, what? OK, so, yeah. Um, so she's pretty tired and he's probably not. Oh, he is. OK, you know, I never checked how old he is because, you know, how. Yeah, see, these Sims are coming not young anymore i know there's a way i could fix that in um in mc command center but it's too late now so when i'm done recording this i'm gonna um cheat him some uh, some uh satisfaction points to get him um a youth potion so they can be the same age <clears throat> and then we won't have that problem anymore so um uh, what i'm gonna do it's almost 10 o'clock and I would like for them to at least be close to getting a promotion soon. So I'm going to take them to the library to um, get their, what you call it, done. Um, there's not a library here. There we go. To get their tasks done for work. So they can be close to having a promotion tomorrow. So see y'all there. And you, sir, you need a computer. Fill out them reports. I probably should have. Is that the only chess table in here? Probably. I don't know why when Maxis makes a library, they put one chess table like people aren't going to want to play chess. I redid the Willow Creek archives. It's on the gallery under my uh, name, just to G if you want to check it out. But I put tons of chess tables and lots of computers because everyone's always fighting for the computer and there's never enough chess tables. So. And I made it look more like a library with like rows and rows and rows of books. So. So let me tell you guys the little backstory I have for Ms. Walker here. So she is, like I said, <clears throat> our heiress for House Six. Her parents were Nova Walker and Jonah Wade. They were both very creative people. That's why she has a weird name. <laughs> uh, her name is Dreama because, you know, she was their first kid and they just wanted her to succeed in everything in life. And she was just such a dream. But um, and they wanted her to reach her dreams. So they named her Dreama. <laughs> her brother, who is about a week younger than her, his name is Cray. <laughs> Because, you know, they're both crazy, uh, creative people and, you know, thinking about having a son and having these kids who are going to take over the world. So crazy, you know, it's so crazy. Yeah, 
crazy celebrity creative parents. That's who they are. <laughs> and then uh, Jonah got abducted by aliens and he came back pregnant. <laughs> he was the first male pregnancy I've ever had. And oh my goodness, it was so funny to me. Anyway, um, the baby was green and him and Nova are just crazy creative people anyway. So they named him Kale. <laughs> so they have Dreama, Cray, and Kale. So yay. Um, <clears throat> how, how are you doing on this? Oh, good. Okay. Where does she have to go? Oh God, two? Okay. I hope she's, oh yeah, she'll be all right. Maybe what's his face will come play with her. He's almost done. Yeah. Join game. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, so, um, <laughs> he got abducted by aliens and on the day that he had the baby, as if that weren't crazy enough, dude won the lottery. I have never, ever had a Sim win any of my Sims win the lottery before. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. I was kind of mad though, because like, it's not like I can keep the money because, you know, as soon as she aged up, I had to leave the house. So whatever. <laughs> but okay, so him and Nova were both painters and they became very famous from their painting career. So they were like legit celebrities, like people falling all over them and everything. So, hey, Rico. So our um, <clears throat> Dreama might be a little bit of a spoiled brat because she grew up with a silver spoon in her mouth. So, you know, when daddy gave her $100,000 before she left, she was like, what? So she took the money and blew it immediately with this house. So she thinks everything's going to be fine, but she's going to be in for a rude awakening when the bills come. And she's going to go home. Rico, how you beat her and you just joined the game? Did he really just? Oh, he didn't. Okay. Oh, he only said mech, not mech chate. Okay, cool. <laughs> this dude has zero skills, y'all. Oh, wait, that's not the right person. He has zero skills and he's checked her twice. <laughs> and he just joined the game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry you're bored from doing your job, but I'm trying to get you promoted. Hey, she won. Okay. How are you guys? Oh, seriously? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I have never seen that behavior before. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Um, okay, I need to get y'all home because I think I think both of them go to work at eight, not nine. Oh, he goes at nine. She goes at eight. So, okay, well, he might. Well, he's not getting a promotion, but neither is she. But oh, she did reach two. Okay, great. Good. Let's go home then. Let's go home. I can't believe he. <laughs> I can't believe he knocked the stuff off the table like that. <laughs> Oh, that grass. I do not. Is that because it's the terrain is, is different? I don't like it showing up on the map like that. Anyway, whatever. It's just me. It's just me. <clears throat> anyway, so when the bills come, Dream was going to go home, run into daddy, ask for some more money. But Noah's going to be like, uh-uh. <laughs> you made this mistake. This is your problem, baby girl. You are going to fix it. Okay, so I guess while I'm here, I will show you the house. So you come in kind of on the side. And I'm sorry, the lights aren't on. They have lights somewhere, but 
Um, to keep the bills low, I have it on auto lights, but not every room has a light because lights are expensive and they don't need them right now because they're not even in all these rooms. So this house is actually not finished. According to the house plan, I have to build another wing over here because the house has eight bedrooms. And I forgot that I, I thought I could get around not making it because I thought it was just a garage and, you know, we don't have garages in The Sims, but on top of the garage were bedrooms. So I'm going to have to build that. So when they get more money, I'll, I'll, I'll tackle that anyway. So here's a foyer. Here are the stairs that go to this, the second floor. This is some weird little vestibule that takes you to the half bathroom. So this is where the sink will go. This is where the uh, toilet will go. This is going to be the, it's supposed to be the, the living room, which is, you know, s some people call it the sitting room, meaning the TV doesn't go in there, but a TV is going in there because this house has too many sitting areas. This is the dining room. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to put some little cute little knickknack here. This is going to have floor to ceiling windows and a piano. Um, some art will go on this wall. Here's another set of stairs that go upstairs. Okay, this is the dining. Well, like a breakfast nook here. All of this is supposed to be the kitchen. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this space, but it's supposed to be a big old island somewhere in here. This, according to the house plan, is a butler pantry, but we don't have pantries in The Sims, so I don't know if I'll just put some clutter in there to make it look like a pantry, but I'll, I'll find something to do with that space. <clears throat> this is supposed to be the family room where the TV goes. I'll, I'll, I'll probably still put the TV in there because Sims like to be in the kitchen talking to each other and hanging out, so I don't know. I think it's too small, but whatever. Um, this is going to be a half bathroom. Oh, and this is going to be one of three playrooms for the children. And of course, there's a patio, a balcony. Then we go to the lower level. I'm going to make this little entryway uh, wine cellar, half bathroom. This area is going to be just an all-purpose recreational thing. You know, I'm going to put the kids' toys and, you know, like a... I don't want to put a foosball table in there because they're always so attracted to it. But, you know, I mean, this house has to be worth $350,000, so I got to put something down here. <laughs> uh, this is supposed to be a wet bar. I think I made it too big, but whatever. This is what they call a great room, whatever. It's going to be another living room. <laughs> There's definitely, maybe I'll make this like a media room, like put the big projector thing or whatever. I don't know, something. Okay, this is going to be the gym. And these are two bedrooms down here with the Jack and Jill bathroom. That is where they are going to be living for now. And this is going to be the laundry room and that's where a closet will go. So back upstairs. Clearly, I have not outline, outlined this yet because then they would run out of money. But something, all of this is going to be like the master suite. And then bedrooms and bathrooms around here. And then some kind of way we'll have more bedrooms in this other wing. So, OK, cool. Um, <clears throat> let's put them to bed and then I will come back to you guys. OK, so it is morning time. Hey, look, it's the lottery again. We are going to play and try and win. Oh, her aunt just called to congratulate on her on the job. Oh, she has to go to work already. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I am so sorry I let you sleep so late anyway. All right. I didn't mean for you to wake up right now. OK, whatever. Um. Okay. Hey, yeah. Thanks, Mom. All right. When you get back home from work, we are playing the lottery. Which one is it? Purchase lottery ticket. Oh, yeah. You get one, too. No, you might as well take a shower while you're in there. This bathroom is much bigger than it needs to be, but hey, when you have a $350,000 house, <laughs> everything's big. <clears throat> Cl 
clearly this kitchen is not completely set up, but I wanted things to be kind of where I want them to be um, when the house is actually made, if that makes any sense, whatever. Okay. It's time for you to go to work. You know what? If Dream I had to go to work with her bladder about to burst, you can go to work hungry. <laughs> Is he actually going to go downstairs to go out the back? Seriously? Was that really the best way, Rico? How is he even going to do it? I want to see this happen. Because I thought they couldn't really get out with all this mess. Oh, he's going to go all the way to the other side to the one part where you actually can walk up. Really? <clears throat> Let me make sure their front door is actually set to... Yeah, okay. Wait, why can't I set any of these doors as the front door? Oh, well. Boss's birthday. Dreamer wants to get her boss a birthday present, but can't leave. Oh, this is one of those. Um, either one of these will be good. I forget which one makes it the best. I think make a present. That's a thing from her having good manners. Oh, small. Okay. You even know him. That's her other aunt. <laughs> she just had a baby. Ah, this is set at front door. Why? I don't want that. Mm, that probably has to do with this terrain stuff. I don't want any of these set up as the front door. I wonder if it's because I built that level first. That sucks. Yay, she's home. Get that lottery ticket, girl. Oh, you can make some food too. Because she doesn't cook well, but I'm pretty sure Rico can't cook at all. Vegetable dumplings? Ooh, I have never seen this before. Oh, that came from um, the Chinese New Year thing. I'm really bummed about this front door thing. This is like messing up my whole vibe for the house, man. Ah, uh, if anyone knows how this can stop happening, that would be, um, how about you take a nap, brah? That would be amazing if, if someone could give me some advice on this front door issue. I don't want people to keep coming through this bedroom. I want to see her make these. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure dumplings are not made that way. <laughs> Unless she's making the batter from for the actual Wrapper. Oh, she's baking them. Look at them in there. <laughs> Dang it, mother. She's she's cooking dinner already. A hey, level two. You can eat some if you'd like. What was that? Oh, I thought I saw something new. Man, these look so good. I want some. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's gonna be complaining because they don't have air conditioning yet. Oh good, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, she's, she's going to get a promotion tomorrow. So because she's responsible, she started this job at level three. Yeah, level three. So she's already ahead of the game. And tomorrow she'll be at level four. <clears throat> but she does need to get that logic skill up. So let us buy her a chess table. And what's his face can help her. We're gonna have to get the cheapest one. <laughs> and the cheapest chairs, cause, ooh boy. These kids are broke. I don't think I have a light in here. Nah, they all need light. <laughs> okay, so um, I am going to have her work on her skills for a little while. Actually, take care of some knees and then work on her skills. And then I will start the next episode um, tomorrow, I think. Hopefully one of them wins the lottery. So thank you for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.